The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. My name is Jesse, I'm the Marketing Director at Faith Business Systems Group. You are joining the part one of our four-part webinar series about Sugar Integrate. So we're really excited to have you here today. And if you are not here with us at this moment, um, thanks for checking out a copy of our recording. So presenting today, uh, we have Caleb Day. He's an account executive at Fave Business Systems Group, and uh, Jeff Bickart, who's our VP of Technology at Fave ESG as well. And then we're really excited to uh, welcome Rod Martinez from the product marketing team at Sugar CRM. He's going to be taking us through uh, the bulk of our presentation today. So if there are any questions as we go on uh, throughout our presentation, feel free to get them in the chat box. And if you are uh, watching this on a recorded version, just feel free to email jesse.heller at faybsg.com and I will get those que questions answered. So Caleb, with that, I'm gonna pass it over to you. Great, thank you, Jesse. Um, hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. Um, again, my name is Caleb Dig, and I'm an account executive here with Fay Business Systems Group. Um, I'll take you through the first couple slides here, then I'll be passing it over to uh, Rod to talk more about uh, Sugar Integrate. Um, so in the way of an agenda for today's call, um, Jesse just went through our welcome. Um, I'll do two slides here on a little background on Fay Business Systems Group. Um, then I'll turn it over to Rod, who will take us through uh, why do companies need an integration platform? Uh, how does Sugar Integrate help sugar customers? Uh, what are the components of Sugar Integrate? Um, we'll recap and then, you know, we'll be open for questions as well. Feel free to put your questions in the uh, chat box as we go, and uh, Jesse will uh, will jump in with uh, with those questions. Um, so, real quick, just some background on Fay Business Systems Group, um, why we think we you know, have the right to do a webinar like this today for you. Um, so, we have over 25 plus years of experience uh, with more than 500 clients today. Uh, we're a Sugar Elite partner. Uh, we were the Global Partner of the Year in 2020. Uh, we are headquartered in Southern California, um, but we do have offices uh, across the world um, in the U.S., in Chicago, Dallas, Philly, and Miami. Um, and across the world, we have it in Europe and uh, South America. Uh, we do focus on CRM with uh, Sugar CRM being the only CRM that we work with and that we support. Um, but we also have a lot of other experience in, you know, financial software. We have an ERP side of the business, uh, marketing automation, and custom solutions. Um, we've, again, done hundreds of successful CRM implementations, um, as well as integrations or implementations with accounting, ERP systems, and custom software implementations. Um, a little, again, background on us. Um, okay, so we kind of built a business around uh, sugar here. So this is a nice slide that just, talked about all of our different sugar integrations and all of our enhancements. Um, so on the left, a lot of our very popular um, integrations here. Um, some of those worth noting would be our QuickBooks integration, um, Authorize.net for taking payments, um, JIRA for project management, um, Box and Dropbox for cloud storage. We have a new Slack integration as well. Um, and on the right, we have many um, enhancements that we've added um, to Sugar. Um, so we've actually added some SMS text messaging to Sugar with our uh, Sugar messaging product, which we've partnered with Ytel to do so. Um, we've enhanced the Sugar mobile app with Sugar Mobile E to add geo mapping um, and some check-in features. Um, so again, these are just some of our integrations and enhancements. If there is any um, questions on any of these, or if any of these have sparked your interest, you know, feel free to reach out to us. We'd be happy to talk about those one-on-one. -on -one. So for now, I'll actually turn it over to Rod to take us through a lot of the uh, Sugar Integrate material. Okay, great, thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm excited to be here. This is a, a new solution that um, that sugars come out with and and I think it's really going to help our customers if, if you look at at the, the market today uh, you know that uh, businesses run through integrations right I mean we just went through a, a few that um, that um, Faye was showing that that they enhance so you know everyone runs on integrations um, these can be small simple integrations or large complex integrations 
and, and new applications are continually being developed to enable businesses to understand their customers better. And larger applications like ERP are, are breaking out their system now. They're, they're um, breaking away their, their monolithic solutions and, and offering services like inventory availability or order history. And, and so, um, you know, you need the ability to, to access those services if, if all you're looking for is that inventory availability. Um, many of these apps add value when they're integrated with uh, a CX platform, uh, you know, to serve your customers better. So business applications are growing exponentially every year. An average business user leverages 30 to 40 applications daily to get their work done. And so that means your average sales, support, marketing person touches that many apps in a day. So if you think about your business, you know, how many of these apps do your business teams use every day? And how many have customer information that should be integrated with your CRM solution? So previously only large organizations with, with big IT budgets could use integrations as a competitive advantage, you know, to better understand their customers. Whereas smaller companies who couldn't afford to build and maintain all of these integrations are left to pick and choose based on, on what their priorities are and what their budget is. Next slide, please. But this is changing. You know, now we can offer our customers a way to compete with these deeper pocket companies and take control of all of these integrations by utilizing an integration platform that not only shortens the time to value, but also simplifies maintaining them by providing the ability to easily switch out some of these applications because of normalized APIs. And it also provides a single location to monitor and maintain these integrations. So this is what gets forward thinking digital organizations excited because now they're free to innovate and use the different apps that, that they feel are, are important to, to move their business forward. And, and also they're looking at apps that they don't have to worry about the pain or the ever evolving integrations that suck up resources. And this is what um, is found in traditional approaches. When you have the one-to-one -one integrations that, that you're tying into, each time you want to switch out an app, you have to do the build, rebuild the whole integration. And this solution allows you to avoid that. Next slide, please. So as you can see, this is a challenge for a lot of organizations. The lack of integration of key customer data creates these data islands that foster competition among the different departments instead of cooperation. And much of this can be eliminated with an iPaaS platform that will also help prevent duplicate records and ultimately speeds up the sales cycle. Next slide. So, so when we talk about data islands or, or data silos, you know, without the ability to efficiently integrate these key applications, companies are, are left with, with point systems and customer data silos that support limited business processes. An example I like to use is, is the elephant parable. Um, hopefully you're familiar with that where where there's five blind men and um, their their first time they're exposed to an elephant, right? And so one person looks at is grabbing the um, the trunk and it says, "Oh, it's like a large snake." Another one will touch the side and say, "Oh, no, it's like a large wall," right? And this is kind of how a company is with different departments. They have islands of information and they require the users to access multiple systems to try and get a complete understanding of their customers. And this, as you know, is time consuming and will most likely give different answers depending on who you ask. An, an exceptional customer experience, um, experience demands a solution that provides these integrated uh, solutions for ERP, for financial health and order history, uh, you know, help desk for issues and incidents. So truly understanding your customer, you have to access these different departments to get all your information you need. Next slide, please. And, and the type of integration is vital information as well, right? This isn't just a one-time download of information. A, a complete view of the customer needs to constantly be maintained because they're not a static entity. Many CRM solutions offer a 360-degree view of a customer, but it's a single point in time when the information is updated, which can be daily, weekly, or even monthly. Whereas Sugar CRM has been focused on building out a modern customer experience platform, and, and we're the only solution that can provide all the components necessary 
to help you leverage customer data to build customers for life. And this is made possible through an integration platform that we're talking about today that delivers integrations faster and accelerates new business opportunities that previously weren't feasible to be, due to all the integration challenges and, and budget challenges. So our solution provides real-time integration to key systems, automated updates of critical customer information with no-touch solutions like Hint and Connect that we have, uh, time-aware customer data that broadcasts actionable insights and next best actions with our Discover solution, and we, we future-proof this solution through reusable integration logic that's um, as the IT landscape evolves. So let's get into uh, the next slide, which are the components of Sugar Integrate. Uh, one thing I wanted to say uh, at the top of this, you know, I, I mentioned this is an iPaaS solution and we're not in the business to build a, a full iPaaS solution or a complete, even though this is a, a complete iPaaS solution, but our focus is on how can we make it easier for our customers to get the data they need to really utilize a, a customer experience platform. So that's the focus of this solution. And, um, and that's what you'll see as we go forward and add capabilities to this. Um, the focus is gonna be on, on how do we make our solution stronger through integrations. So the first component is adapters. Uh, we have over 200 pre-built adapters. And what an adapter is, it's, it's a pre-built API connection, right? To a cloud service or an on-premise service that normalizes and, and enhances the native endpoint. If you look at a, an API, all that is is it's a window into an application, right? And so when I plug into that, I also need to say, okay, what data am I retrieving? Once I retrieve that data, what am I gonna do with it? You know, do I, does it trigger any other events? And so these adapters are, are pre-built with a lot of that information. So I can plug into a solution and a lot of that is already there. And then I can take it and, and, and make some modifications. Um, and, and it allows a lot less work for development teams and partners to keep up with the um, changes to these native endpoints. And then we have Adapter Builder. So if, if within those 200 plus um, catalog of, of adapters or connections to different um, services, if, it, if one doesn't exist, we give you the ability to, to build a new one. Right, So you can take an existing adapter or you can start from scratch and build an integration to a, a service or a solution that, um, that, may, that we may not have in the catalog at this point. And that's what Adapter Builder will provide. There's also pre-built templates. And what these are is, is these drastically improve the, the, um, the time it takes for you to get up and running on some of these. And, and what these are is, is they're templates that, that provide business processes, right? So um, an example would be quote to cash or lead to opportunity, right? And what we do is we take the whole process and say, okay, again, when I bring data in, what do I wanna do with it? Who needs to access it? Um, you know, maybe a, a good example of, of a business process is once I close an opportunity, I wanna broadcast that, right? So I wanna send a, a Slack message to everyone within the company or, or everyone on the sales team. So as, as the opportunity moves to close, it's gonna trigger that event and, and send a, an alert to, to Slack uh, as an example. But those are pre-built templates. And then common resources. Uh, common resources, um, they provide a normalized view of data objects like accounts or orders and, and data mappings and transformations. So as, as you know, what may be called uh, an order in one account may be called an opportunity in another one or you know, different terminology that, that you have to then normalize. And, and so when I'm speaking to one system, it understands what I'm getting from that. Uh, the other thing is um, procedures, right? So this is where users can, can set automated trigger, manual triggers, right? Or, or orchestrate multiple API calls. And this is where I was, when, when you go and you set up those pre-built templates, you can come into these procedures and you define what you actually want to happen. So again, when I bring um, that data in, where do I want to put it? You know, who needs access to it? What type of, um, what type of events do I want to trigger as, as that happens? And so that's what um, procedures do. And then finally, there's data loader. 
And what Data Loader is, is it's a, it's a one-time download of, of a large amounts of information, right? Uh, what we found is that a lot of companies were, um, were moving off another CRM system and they wanted a way to, to capture that data and bring it in. And, and it was a, a factor in, in, um, in the sales process because they're saying, you know, I hate to lose all of that data and it's going to take me a long time to do that. Well, now with Data Loader, it makes it a lot easier to, to go out, get all of that information that I have in that existing system and bring it into like Sugar Cell or bring it into Serve or, or one of the other things. But now I have access to all of that information. And it's also going to go through a process of, of helping you dedupe a lot of that information if, if your other system um, wasn't very good at that. So that's another um, component of, of the Data Loader. So, so those are the, the various components. Um, you know, obviously we, we're gonna go into a lot more detail as, as we go into these other webinars, but I kind of wanted to give you a high level overview of, of what Sugar Integrate is and, and how it can really um, help in time to value and as well as managing all of your, your integrations. So with that, I will turn it back over. Great, thank you, Rod. Uh, Jesse, do we have any uh, questions from the audience? Yeah, thanks, Caleb. Thanks, Rod. No, so we don't have any questions at this time, but if uh, anything does come up, obviously uh, reach out to us and you can email us. I think uh, on the next slide, Caleb might put our email addresses up there as well. Um, and we're happy to help in any way that we can. So with that, uh, Happy to give you a little bit of your, uh, your time and your day back and um, really appreciate you taking the time to uh, join us today. And we will see you on part two in a couple of weeks uh, of our series around Sugar Integrate. So again, Ron, thank you, Caleb, Jeff, everyone have a great rest of your day and uh, we will chat with you all soon. Thanks. Great, thank you.